Eagles cornerback Darius Slay talking about the turf at MetLife Stadium. It's new turf. That doesn't make it better turf. Field turf is still field turf, and players prefer grass to field turf. The Aaron Rodgers injury, and look, it's debatable whether or not the turf played a role in the torn Achilles, and people start rattling off statistics, and that's what happens here. The NFL has at its handy disposal any and all statistical interpretations that support its view that there's no evidence grass is safer than turf and others will point to other things but the anecdotal evidence is overwhelming players prefer turf that's what new nflpa executive director lloyd howell said in a statement monday the fir- or tuesday or wednesday one of these days it was one of the days this week it was wednesday lloyd howe the first statement that he's issued is an impactful one moving all stadium fields to high quality natural grass surfaces is the easiest decision the NFL can make. The players overwhelmingly prefer it. And the data is clear that grass is simply safer than artificial turf. It is an issue that has been near the top of the players list during my team visits. And one I have raised with the NFL, while we know there is an investment to making this change, there is a bigger cost to everyone in our business. If we keep losing our best players to unnecessary injuries, it makes no sense that stadiums can flip over to superior grass surfaces when the World Cup comes or soccer clubs come to visit for exhibition games in the summer, but inferior artificial surfaces are acceptable for our own players. This is worth the investment, and it simply needs to change now. And that last part is the NFL's weakest position on this, Chris. The World Cup. We're going to bend over backwards and twist ourselves in knots and spend whatever has to be spent because that is the price of doing business with FIFA because you have to have grass because their players refuse to play on turf. Whatever data the NFL tries to throw at us, whatever word salad their PR executives try to concoct, that is inescapable. They'll do it when they have to. They won't do it when they don't have to. So the challenge is for the rest of us, Make them have to do it. Yeah, it's it's that's right. We got to keep the pressure on everybody. It's 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 you know this is where I I would hope that the quarterbacks come together and really start to do it. That that's what's going to get a change. And Mahomes, Burrow, all of them, they got to start to Josh Allen, you know Jalen Hurts. They got to start to speak up on behalf of the whole league. They they want to protect the quarterbacks all the time. All right, quarterbacks protect the rest of football here with this a little bit. Band together, but we got to keep the pressure on. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. It's the easiest thing to fix on player safety. And then not only do the players just say it, the numbers overwhelmingly prove it. The, the, over the last over the last ten years, there's one year that we know that 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 okay, the numbers were somewhat favored artificial turf. Other than that, the numbers are overwhelmingly the other way. You don't see Odell Beckham Jr. injuries happen both times, happen like that on grass very often. It's rare. And I can come up with that a whole bunch. So that that's where it's wrong. And then, yes, it's disappointing. I mean, come on. It's Jerry Jones. It's America, 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 America. We love America. And then he's going to change the field for a bunch of foreigners. But screw the Americans who play on it. That's just falling on deaf ears to me. I'm sorry. And then for Roger Goodell yesterday <laughs> to sit there and talk about, oh, some players like the field turf, bullcrap, challenge flag. God, call 345 Park Avenue and review that. I don't know who. I'm still trying to find one player that prefers field turf over grass. One. Tell me one. That is such BS, political BS with that comment. They should be ashamed for themselves with this, this, cat, this whole conversation. They should be. And just for clarity and the benefit of our friends who are watching this on tape delay in the UK, in Ireland, we've got people throughout the world that listen to the podcast. Chris was not making any type of pejorative commentary about foreigners. Not at all. The point is that Jerry Jones wraps himself in the flag right. on all things America, except taking care of his American workforce. That's all I'm saying. When he is more than willing right. to spend whatever is necessary when the doors are open to the world to come to his stadium, because that's what the world governing body for soccer right. demands. Right. And it's all about money. It's all about money, plain and simple. It's about having multiple events at one stadium. Hey, Chris, look, and let's be let's be realistic. Yeah. Okay. Someone made this point to me yesterday. Because now that we're stirring it up, I'm starting to hear from people about it. Yeah. Think if they had grass at MetLife Stadium, think of what a disaster it would have been Monday night after the Sunday night rain. Right. And the game that was played on it between the Cowboys and the Giants, what would that field have looked like the next night? And I hearken back to 2007, November, Mike Tirico on the call for Monday Night Football. Dolphins at Steelers, the punt that didn't bounce. 
Now, if you're going to have grass, it's got to be high quality, and that's what Lloyd Howell put in his statement. It's not just any grass. It can't be FedEx Field back in the days when they had to paint the dirt green, and people would have their shoes turn green when they walked right, on it. Right. So it's got to be great grass, and you got to make it work. But teams that are sharing a stadium, it becomes a challenge. These stadiums that are indoors, how do you make grass grow indoors? You can't have tray system. Remember when Houston did that and people were tearing their ACLs on the seams and the trays? It's got to be done right. And Chris, to your point about Roger Goodell's comment yesterday on ESPN's first take, he says other players like playing on turf field because it's fast, faster, so you've got mixed opinions. This is not like Thursday night football where some players were like, yeah, we like the mini buy, we like the easy week of practice, and some were like, ah, it's a poop fest. As you said, I have yet to find one player who prefers turf to grass. Where are they? Make yourself known. Stand up and be counted. I am Spartacus. Where are you? Right. Player who prefers turf to grass. Exactly. Because everyone who chimes in says grass, grass, grass. And reporters now, when they get in open locker rooms, they need to, they need to go to the players and say grass or turf, grass or turf, Coke or Pepsi, grass or turf. That's what they need uh, to do. Yeah. And it's going to be grass, 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 all along. All, all, it'll be 99.9% grass if of they Of course do that. it will. They, they got to figure it out. And I don't want to hear the sob stories. If it's MetLife Stadium, have two damn grass fields. You guys are making billions. Kiss my butt with all this crap. I'm sick of it. Start taking <laughs> care of your players. All right? It's ridiculous. And I played on one of those fields in Tampa, Mike, where there was a college football game the night before in South Florida and Tampa. We come on the field and there was spray painted brown a little bit. You know what? I still rather would have played on that field than the artificial turf. You gave me my choice of whether I wanted to go play on the artificial turf in the Dome in Atlanta or our somewhat muddy, sprayed green field in, in, in Tampa. The whole team would have gone, we'll stay here on this, the muddy green field. So that's to the extent that nobody wants to play on the artificial turf. Get it done, NFL. Stop talking out of both sides of your mouth. Hey, would you just sell that chain and you'll be able to afford a grass field or two? I have no idea what that chain costs, but I have a feeling it would go a long way for paying for <laughs> I think it. he'll be okay with uh, both. An appropriate right. field for all players, for the Jets and the Giants. All right. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.